Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. Now today we have something brand new from the people over at NVIDIA. This is basically the Maxwell powered GTX 950. Now this is a very, very entry level card. It's geared totally for MOBA gaming. You guys might know MOBA gaming? The hell's MOBA gaming? Mobile gaming is basically multiplayer online battle arena. League of Legends, Dota 2, all those type of games. And we all know those type of games don't take the most massive video card in the world to play. And so therefore, those people who want to play those type of games aren't going to want to spend the big bucks involved getting a 980 Ti and those type of cards. And so hence, this card is born. There are actually 30 million people out there that play these type of games. And NVIDIA is basically claiming that this is the new MOBA king. Now, this thing's got 768 CUDA cores. Not too many, but 768, still okay, right? Eh, yeah, yeah. All right. Two gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte memory controller. That's pretty much the base specs. This thing comes with some really good key features. We'll get into those after the unboxing. Basically, for input lag and all that stuff for your mouse and keyboard, this card offers better performance than that because you guys all know lag between your mouse and your keyboard could cause you to get death, especially in some games, that little second could be everything and they've also introduced a new pipeline to make this card more efficient in those type of games so with that said though let's first let's just real quick take a look at the box like obviously we got the front of the box we got the back of the box and by the way guys this is the amp edition of the card so there's a boost clock and a base clock for the reference one this one's actually much higher so we'll get to that also but let's just go ahead and let's uh, take the cap off now, if you guys know about the Amp Edition, these things have a lot of cool things. They have an armor exoskeleton, which is really, really cool. They have their patented fans. They have their Firestorm technology for doing all the overclocking. There's a lot of cool things about, about these guys. So, so, real quick, let's just pop the cap. Here's what comes inside the other box. We don't got much from there. We got, you know, we got here, we got the uh, driver CD, case badge. Quick installation guide. Hope if you buy this, you know what the hell you're doing. Uh, just another little thing, give you some advertisement for them. Then basically says uh, Freeze Tech, Freeze Tech technology. Now Freeze Tech is basically just when you know your car is not being overworked, it totally just stops. Silent mode. Other companies do it. Everybody has their own name. That's these guys' name. They also get a a dual Molex to six pin power connector. So it's a single six pin power connector. Uh, let's see here. VGA adapter, nobody uses this. By the way, the recommended power requirements of this card are 350 watt power supply, very low power requirements. So let's pop it out of the box. We have DVI-I, DVI-D, main display port, and HDMI. It's HDMI, well, what is it? HDMI 2.0 and a display port 1.2. So we'll just start with the rear IOEs and don't do that. We'll just start with that earliest time. We'll flip around the top, see there are two fans. Their technology the card's actually quite small so it'll fit in a lot of small systems which is really good a lot of people these days are pushing for smaller systems this card will definitely make the grade so you guys can see that underneath it these guys also have a dual six millimeter heat pipe running through the card so that's keeping it cool and the back side's really got nothing to it whatsoever but the back side has what we all love the exo armor and for you guys going oh my god you're making me cringe as i smack the back of the card get a fucking pair of balls seriously like it's not going to hurt the card to hit the back of the card you guys need to get a pair man because that's just ridiculous you know i've seen the comments every time oh my god you're making me cringe that you hit the back of the card what do you think they call it an exo armor for what does exo armor mean it's like an exoskeleton for tough stuff ain't gonna hurt it single sli finger and that's pretty much the card itself i'm not going to go into a whole lot of great detail here today like I said, some of the big features about this card I'll talk about just real quick. Like I said earlier, another thing Team Green is pushing with this release is improved input latency. And if you don't know what that is, it means that the time it takes for your PC to recognize your keyboard and mouse commands, and the lower the latency, the faster the response time, meaning more accurate gameplay. According to some leading eSport folks, responsiveness can be the difference between losing and winning the game. I guess milliseconds do count more than we think. The GTX 950 also offers a new pipeline for processing your games. Graphic systems are pipelined such that successive frames can also be processed or rendered in parallel, in time sliced fashion. And a buffer is inserted between each of these frames. By cutting down the pre-buffer to just one frame instead of two on the GTX 950, it substantially reduces input latency, which leads to higher performance for MOBA gamers. I'm sure the engineers have all kinds of technical details that go behind all this, but you guys are the layman and the game man. It's just like, hey, it's just more technical words. How does this damn card game? Well, we'll get into that real quick. Let's just real quick 
tell you how big the card is because I know some people do care about that. So the Amp Edition card size is in like this. As far as inches goes, it's 8.9 by 4.38 by 1.39. And for the rest of the world, that's 208 millimeters by 111 by 25 millimeters by 35.3 millimeters. The base clock on a reference card from NVIDIA is 1024 with a boost clock of 1188. But the Amp Edition comes clocked with a base of 1203 and a boost clock of 1405 megahertz. So that's a pretty significant boost for such a little card. Now with that said, let's just real quick take a look at our test station, which includes an i7-4770 overclocked just slightly, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and for our storage, we have a Western Digital Black Drive. And obviously all the games and the drivers that we're testing with. We always use the very latest drivers that are available by the companies, so have no fears there. And with that said, let's jump in and let's check out those benchmarks and let's see how this card does. All right, so there you guys have it. Now, I know a lot of people out there is always asking like, why are you guys using some of these tests on medium and high? It's just the way the ball bounce. We have a lot of tests that we've been running for a long time. And some of the video cards back in the day that we tested wouldn't actually test these games at their full blown capacity. So that's the reason we have that. But now that Windows 10 come out and DirectX 12's here, like I said before in my previous videos, I'll be changing the test station over to a completely new test station. Now, obviously we didn't do a whole bunch of so-called MOBA testing because we're not big MOBA games over here I'm a big first-person shooter and I think most of us are so we want to ask you guys a question right off the bat because Captain Kevin has said if you guys would really like to see a dedicated review based on mobile with this card he'll come back over here to Techno tomorrow and he'll do that video for us so if you guys want to see Kevin come over here and do a video strictly on mobile on this GTX 950 Ambition card hey please leave the comment down below with the hashtag of hey MOBA testing and we'll do it for you we love you folks so also I have some other good news for you folks. Check this out. One lucky winner gets to win one of these for himself. That's right. And it's very easy to win. Just leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subbed to Tekken tomorrow. And if you guys would like to, I'm sure the people over at Zotac would really appreciate it if you go over and just leave some kind of comment on their Facebook page. It'll also increase your chance of winning because we're gonna randomly pick from those people next Friday. So good news on that. So what do you guys think? I mean, this card's coming to market at really about $150 to $160. So it's not a very expensive investment whatsoever. And for those people out there who play that type of game, obviously, since you guys can see, it's playing all these other games. Playing mobile games is gonna kind of like, you know, trying to eat soft spaghetti. It'll be really easy for the card to do. It's not gonna strain it a lot. 768 CUDA cores I know seems a little bit low, but hey, this thing seems to be doing pretty good for its price range. I think that this card is nice, and if you're under $200 and you're looking for a great card, hey, you might want to consider the GTX 950. Obviously, if you're playing first-person shooter games and all that kind of stuff, this card's probably not going to cuss the mustard. It's going to be down at the bottom of the barrel. But those who play MOBA, I think you're in, baby. So, all right, that wraps up today's video. Like usual, folks, all the information about this will be down below that like button, which hopefully you go Jackie Chan style on, and leave us a comment. If you're interested in buying one of these or you're getting more information, we'll have links down there all below to this stuff. So, I'm Elric. You're watching Tech of Tomorrow. Rock on. We'll see you back here on Sunday. We've got another video card coming up, this time the ASUS GTX 980 Ti Strix Edition, which you've been asking for. See you on Sunday.